Hello, my dear friends. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic because today, this video is a celebratory video of hitting 200 subscribers. That's right. We hit 200 subscribers in just under two months. Technically, the fourth would be two months, and this will probably go live on the fourth, so it'll be two months exactly. First video was posted on the 9th. My channel was created on the 4th. So, in two months of channel creation, we have hit 200 plus subscribers. That, to me, is mind-blowing. And I would like to take the moment to say thank you to every single one of you that listens, that is subscribed, that comments, that follows me on Twitter. Every single one of you. Thank you. I did this uh, on a whim, for fun, to be honest with you. And... It has quickly grown into more than a hobby for me. This is something I genuinely want to do now, and I, I love it. This is one of my favorite things to do to pass the time, honestly. So, thank you again to everybody. I hope everybody is excited, because again, this video is the 200 plus subscriber celebratory video. I know I didn't put what it was in the title, but I hope you are ready, because now I will narrate my favorite poem. That's right. It is The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Enjoy. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor,' I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly, I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my book's surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me, with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. That it is, and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating, then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door, darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore? This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word Lenore, merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice, let me see then what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore, tis the wind and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but, with mine of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling, my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly, foul to hear discourse so plainly, Though it answers little meaning, little relevancy bore, for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such a name as nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. 
nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before, on the morrow he will leave me as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, nevermore. Stared at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master whose unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster, till his songs one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never, <laughs> nevermore. But the raven still beguiling all my fancy into smiling, straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt of ominous bird of yore, meant in croaking, nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing, to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned up into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining, on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamp lit gloated o'er. But whose velvet violets lining with the lamp light gloating o'er, she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then, methought, the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee, respite, respite in nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. <laughs> quaff, oh quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still if bird or devil, whether tempter sent or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore. Desolate, yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore. Is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, I said, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends us above, by that god we both adore, tell that soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden whose angel's name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked upstarting. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form off of my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting, on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul, from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor, shall be lifted, nevermore. Can I just say that reading that poem is absolutely exhilarating for no reason other than it is an amazing story? Honestly, I was so into reading that. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, thank you for getting me to 200. I will probably do something like this every once in a while whenever I hit those milestones because this kind of thing is really fun. Reading classic tales like Poe and Lovecraft are things I really want to do but it's kind of rough to do so whenever I'm also reading no sleep stories, paranormal stories, creepy encounters, etc. So these kinds of things are probably going to be special. That's not to say that I will never read something by Poe that isn't on a special video. That's not to say I will only read them on special videos, etc. That is to say, I will definitely read them on special videos. Okay, well, if you did like that, I hope you did. Please give it a like and let me know what you thought in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed the narration, if you enjoy my channel, please, please subscribe. Get me to that next milestone and I will read something else. Also, if you have any recommendations, please let me know what you'd like me to read. It has to be um, either public domain like Pose and Lovecraft stuff or permission from the writer. Or if you if it's your story, that works too. You can find me on Twitter uh, at RavensDreamYT. You can find me on Reddit. Uh, it's linked down in the description. Uh, that is kind of all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for getting me to 200. Here's to another, I don't know, let's go 20 billion. That sounds good. If I can get to 20 billion subs by the end of the year. Sorry, that was stupid. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys again. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I hope to see you on the next video.
But until the next video, I say to you, my dear listeners, never more. And sleep well.